Uh, good morning, my name is Joe Voigt. I'm from Commercial Door Service, Norco Door Systems. Uh, this is a 10 piece biparting Norco hanger door. Uh, and what that means is that it meets in the middle. When it's fully closed, the center gap is closed and they open, they open from the center out. Now this door is a little bit different. It also has drive doors on the end. So it can open from the outside in. It's still considered a biparting door. It just has multiple drive doors as opposed to one. It's the only difference. Uh, therefore, it's going to have four control panels. You're going to have four control stations. Each control station has an inside and an outside control station built in. So this one, if you were to go outside, there's a mirror of this for outside. It's pending, hanging just on the outside of the door so that you can operate the door from the inside or from the outside. Um, real quick, I want to go over just some of the components of the door so you guys understand. I'm going to take a step back a little bit so you can get the whole door here in view. What we have here, this is a weight box. It's just a concrete cube. And it basically puts weight over the top of each drive wheel. Each drive wheel consists of a motor, a gearbox, a slipping clutch, or in case the door gets stuck for safety, drive chain, wheel, with bearings. This is all controlled from this control panel here, operated through a push button system hanging right here. Okay. Once you engage the push button, correct operation, there will be an alarm sound. You get a few seconds before the operation starts. It's to notify anybody in the area with an alarm and with a visual light. Now if you look up here, you're gonna see a yellow strobe, and then above the yellow strobe is a black audible buzzer. Uh, those things will start to function prior to the door moving, and then the door starts to move, and I can demonstrate that by going like this. You see, if you notice there is a delay there, that's a safety delay, it's designed that way. So as soon as you hit it, it's not gonna move. Some guys, they want this to move. And it's designed that way for safety purposes. Now, like I said, you're gonna have weight box that puts the weight right over the drive wheel. The center panels between the drive doors, they're just floating panels. They catch on the edges of the door. You can see the catch bar sticking out and they will drive with the door. You drive this door, everything else rides with it like a trailer, okay? Uh, when you come all the way closed, you have sensors that tell the door that it's all the way closed. Now, if you were to look up top in the top corner, you can see a switch up there with a swing arm, okay? That switch, it's a plate, and tells the door when it's fully closed. Therefore, you can close this door to the fully closed position without the other door being there, or irrelevant of the other door's position. Okay, it will always come to the center. It's gonna to come to a stop. You're not gonna be able to go anymore. Okay, same thing with that door. You come all the way closed, keep the closed position or the open position regardless of the condition of this door. Okay, once this door is all the way closed, we recommend only operating one drive door from its closed position at a time. And what I mean by that is, if the door is fully closed, and I can show you it's fully closed, if the door is fully closed, you can open up that panel and drive the panel this way, opening the door to this direction. You can open this panel going that way in that direction, but only one at a time. The reason that is, is because when this door is closed and not in operation, these motors are stopped. And if you start to drive the door, see now I, I didn't let go of the button. It's just, it's hit its stop up top, so it's not going to go anymore, no matter what I do. It's in its closed position. Now you can open that panel coming this way, and it'll come all the way open, and everything will sit here in the middle, so your sides are open. Or you can open the middle to the outside. What we don't recommend is opening both at the same time. You want one of them in their closed position at all times, so that you're not trying to drag a drive door. Because that, that you don't want to, you know, you want to try to avoid that. Uh, will it damage anything? No. Will it work correctly? Probably not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cause a little bit of errors. We'll get some messages in here saying you're doing things um, easily clearable. Uh, as far as maintenance goes on these doors, they're almost maintenance free. There's a couple of grease points uh, that are down in the bearings. So you get one here. You got one on every drive wheel and every floating wheel. There's a grease point right in the center that takes a standard two-grade grease. 
How often do you have to grease those? Once a year. It's, a, it's an annual grease. The bearings, everything up top, everything that rolls on the top of these doors is all sealed and does not require a yearly maintenance greasing. Although we do recommend an annual maintenance check. And it's more of a preventative maintenance check than anything. Um, it will prevent casualty control and it'll keep your doors operating you know, year after year after year. Uh, a lot of these doors with an annual inspection operate for 10 plus years without anything other than grease and a basic maintenance check. Okay. Um, the only other thing I would say I would want you to be aware of is the live uh, power bar that's high voltage up top. And if you look and there's a yellow plastic bar that runs on the front of this door, that's what transfers power from the building to the door through that live rail. Okay? Um, it's kind of like the subway. You don't want to stick anything inside there. The exterior is shielded. It's for inside, outside rated. So you can go up there, you can put your hands on it, you can bump into it with a basket. You're not going to hurt yourself. But if you see the slot on the bottom, if you stick a screwdriver or your finger in there, you are touching high voltage. So I just want everybody to be aware that there is high voltage present up there. It is live, but you really, you really got to got to stick your finger in it kind of like a light socket you almost got to stick something inside that slot before you get yourself in danger is that labeled up there somewhere yes yes What about if we have um, just a pressing issue and it just doesn't work? Is there like a number that we could call for emergency Absolutely. assistance? Absolutely, it's on the control panel. Right, right, right on here. the panel? Okay. It's right here. Good to go. And that's 24 hours a day. You can also reach us through this number right here. Either one of these. You call either one of these, you're going to get Norco or you're going to get Commercial Door Service, which is the same company. One is the service department, one is the manufacturing department. Same company, same engineers, they work in the same office together. So no matter which number you call, you get in the same office. Okay, you're going to get the same brilliant people that have designed these doors from scratch. So the information is the same, the parts are going to be the same. And most likely you'll get, if you ask for uh, service and physical service to show up, you're going to get myself. So, um, any other questions on basic operation? Normal operations? Okay. Uh, then the only other thing I want to cover is if there's a power outage or if there's a mechanical failure or if any lightning strike happens, something like that, the door does not work and you need to operate the door, you need to open or close the door in an emergency type of situation. There is a procedure and it's going to start right here at the control drive panels. These drive panels have a slipper clutch, which is this mechanism right here. This is tensioned by this large nut right here, okay? So I believe in this door that there is a ring. I saw it somewhere. It's not in here. One of, one of these drive doors has a big orange wrench in it. Okay. We supply one with the door systems. It's a large wrench. It's the size of this nut. It's sitting, in, sitting inside one of these doors. I did see it yesterday when I was in here. So I know it is present. Uh, what you're going to want to do is loosen this nut. These two plates behind here are actually pressure springs. Okay. And then there's two clutch discs here that are slipper discs. If the door were to run into something before this gearbox presses or the motor starts to strain, that slipper clutch allows a little bit of relief so that no damage happens. I, I hear he found the wrench. I can hear it. <laughs> so you're gonna wanna loosen this. Once you loosen both the clutches on one drive door, this drawer is now become a rolling, free rolling door. And what you're gonna wanna do is either push it with a tug or you can grab a chain and we have an eye right here that you can connect to and you can either push or pull right from this eye. Okay. If the door is partially closed and you're trying to open it in an emergency situation, a lot of times the easiest thing to do is to take a tug and nose it right up to the weather seal on the edge and actually drive the door that way. If you wanted to close the door, the best thing to do is to hook a chain to the back of a tug and pull the door till it's closed position. And then once it's there, you want to lock down these clutches, and then you're ready to fire it up. If you get power back, restored power, you can uh, then go ahead and drive the door by its own power. Any questions on emergency operation? So you don't want to remove 
into that hole so you just loosen it up. Correct, correct. You just loosen it up until these, these, these are actually, these aren't big washers. Those are convex clutch springs. So when these two plates, these silver plates are loose, at that point the door is free rolling. And when you tighten this back down, you know, they're, they're not loose now. I can't move these around. If you were to try to, loo if you loosen this and hit drive on the door right now, this center would spin, but the chain would not. It basically puts it in neutral. Correct. That's exactly what it does. And that's per panel. So there's two drive systems on this panel, and you can push this door. You'd have to do the same thing here. There's two drive panels to push that door that way. And you could, you could do the same thing with the outside drive doors. Uh, you could loosen the clutches and push them also. Uh, you don't want to push them with the clutches too tight. It causes problems. Any questions? No? Okay. Very good. That's it? That's it. Pretty simple.